Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jocogov.org. It is uh, uh, not practical to test, to test over 600,000 uh, people. Uh, it is also not necessary. Uh, in everything that we do, we uh, would test a sample of the population and make uh, deductions and inferences from, from the data that we have. This is not, not different. Uh, of course, an additional reason why we are testing is to quickly identify cases, put them in isolation, and their contacts in quarantine so that we can contain the spread of the virus. Uh, however, um, we've been doing this since March when we started. There weren't a lot of um, resources to test as many people, but in the county we've been testing thousands of people every week, which is really represent, uh, representative of what's going on. We're getting a good picture of what's going on, and those are reflected in the numbers. Um, I think uh, the uh, misconception that uh, we're only testing people with symptoms or that are sick, and, that's that, and that, that is driving up um, the numbers, that's inaccurate. A lot of uh, uh, data are coming from, uh, from point of care uh, tests, uh, from uh, patients that are going to uh, undergo certain procedures and are required to test from athletes, for example, who are doing preventive testing, or even from workers whose employers require preventive tests with or without symptoms, or even people that are traveling to other locations that require that. So it's not a study, it's not randomly picking people, but in mo it, it, it does really represent uh, the level of transmission in the community and our responsibility is to continue to work to break the transmission cycle and so we can bring those levels down. If people want to get tested, we encourage you to get tested because the more people that we test, the better we will be able to identify those infections that are in the population and use our non-pharmaceutical interventions of isolation and quarantine to contain the spread. But there's quite a lot of people walking around with the virus with, that are infected that do not know that and testing is a way for us to identify that. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.